Yeah. All right, let's bring in Steve Weiss. He just, just called in as we had asked him to. I appreciate that. Weiss, you there? I'm here. You still have the calls? I do, I do. I was emailing with Farmer Jim, uh, you know, in, against my uh, against my will, might I add, and it was mentioned this morning that I bought some Tesla calls. Uh, th this is purely momentum play. I mean, I'm fascinated by the company. It's unbelievable. And what Elon Musk has done uh, is what nobody else has done in terms of SpaceX and this, et cetera. And I just think it goes through trillions, momentum market. And uh, the Hertz news was phenomenal for them. Uh, they go out, the calls expire in about a month. So I'll be out by then unless I roll them over. But earnings are out of the way. Great quarter. Uh, not comfortable with the valuation, but never been comfortable with it. And that's kept me away from it. I've owned it periodically, shorted it periodically, always lost money in the short. But I bought the calls this morning, and they were up 100%. <laughs> already so sure you tend to take profits off the table but i think well, let, let me ask you this let me ask you this you, you look at the others that have crossed a trillion dollars and you can say i can see it you know i can see why that x company has crossed a trillion dollars in market cap the fundamentals match up to the story yet there are so many mm -hmm. people out there um maybe not so many but at least a number of loud people out there who say that the fundamentals make no sense for Tesla to be trading at a trillion dollar market cap. What are we to make of that, Steve? For viewers who watch our program, who follow a lot of y'all into different positions, are saying, mm -hmm. geez, I mean, I keep wanting to hate on this thing or say that the valuation is too crazy for my taste, and yet the stock just continues to go up and up and up and up. Stocks develop characteristics, and once they work through those characteristics and they get embellished in terms of the story, then the negatives that have been around on Tesla since $50 a share just don't work anymore, so it's time to give up the ghost. Valuation shorts have, have taken more people, more people's P&L down than I can count, so you never shorten valuation. It's a momentum stock, so as long as the fundamentals – as long as the momentum and the fundamentals keep going, and there's no sign of them letting up. As a matter of fact, they're getting better every day, as we saw with the Hertz. Well, they're not one in this. Are they one in the same? The right? You're 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 talking about yeah. them as they're grouped together. I mean, there there is momentum, and then there's fundamentals. Right. Here they're one in the same. That's a great point, Scott. Here they feed off one another, huh. and until they give you a reason to to get away from the fundamental story, the stock will keep going up. So, look, it made no sense at 700, the valuation. You're going to tell me all of a sudden it's going to make sense to have a ridiculously valued stock at 1,200? No. It's just going to keep going because that's how this stock is regarded by the market. Well, and Musk is right now, Elon Musk is right now getting the last laugh. I'll tell you that. Well, a lot of the naysayers, uh, a lot of the naysayers out there. Oh. Joe Terranova just emailed a question to me uh, for you. He says, how much of the recent move higher is related to oil rallying above 80? That's a good question. You think about that at all, Steve? You know, I don't. I think it is a good question. Maybe I should think about it, but I don't. And I just think the EV space has just moved so quickly. You take a look at the moves recently in Volkswagen and Porsche. I mean, their take on is, is sold out. Uh, Right now, you've got every company. Look, what held them back is charging stations. Now you've got every company committed to building out charging stations, Volkswagen, GM, Ford, plus all the companies that are just creating uh, charging stations, not making autos. So once you have that, I think you know that you're pulling adoption of EVs forward. So that's part of it. In terms of oil, yeah, I mean, if gas keeps going, You'll see so many more people adopt EVs. So that's a great point by Joe. It's not one I consider. I only look at this as a momentum. I hear you. Play. I hear you. Yeah. I got to run. I got to run, Weiss. You keep okay. us up to date with what you do with this, and we'll see you back on the show, um, hopefully in the day, I'm sure in the days ahead.